Our aim of the experiment is to find the Young's modulus of this wire using Searle's apparatus. And uh, the things required for this experiments are a meter scale, a half kg slotted weights, screw gauge, one constant weight, and the Searle's apparatus. This contains two wires of the same material and uh, this two rectangular frames and uh, this one is the spirit level and this is the micrometer screw. So first we will find the pitch of the micrometer screw. So for finding the pitch we will coincide this uh, zero of the circular scale reading with the 10 and when, then we will rotate one revolution. So here we see that it has shifted 0.1 cm. So our pitch is 0.1 cm. So to find the least count of this micrometer, uh, we divide the pitch by the total number of divisions on this circular scale. So that is 100. So uh, the least count is 0.1 cm by 100. Now we measure the length of this wire. Measure the diameter of this wire using this screw gauge. So after measuring the diameter, we hang the constant weight on the right side of the Searle's apparatus. Then we hang this empty hanger on the micrometer screw side. We move this spirit level onto the middle by rotating this micrometer screw. So now we take the circular scale reading. This becomes the initial circular scale reading. Then we add 500 gram weight on this hanger and then wait for one minute. So now we see after putting the weight, the bubble has shifted a bit. So we again adjust the spirit level uh, onto the middle by adjusting this micrometer screw. So now we again take the circular scale reading. Again we put another 500 gram weight. In this case, the initial reading will be the final reading of the previous reading. So subsequently we go on adding weights till 2.5 kg and uh, we take the reading. So similarly we go on repeating this procedure and uh, we finally plot the loads added on the x axis and the elongation along the y-axis, then we plot the graph. <laughs>